So let me help you. If you have the rate and the base, you are always multiplying. Okay? And you're just multiplying the two numbers that you have. If you have the part, you are always dividing. If you have the part, you are always dividing by the other number that's there in the problem. Okay? So if you have the part, then you're automatically, automatically going to divide it by the other number that's in the problem. Okay? So if you cannot remember these four formulas like me, <laughs> then uh, that is a way to do it. So if you have the rate and the base together, you're always multiplying. If you have the part, you're always dividing. Okay? Now, let's jump into the packet. Number one. So, we're just going to pick out a couple of these because I really want to spend the bulk of our time tonight working through the word problems. Um, so, let's just look at number one. What is... 28% of 1,050. So Cindy, which two pieces do we have? Okay, we have... We have the rate and the base. Anytime we see a percent, it's always the what? The rate. It's the rate. Here's the base. So the rate, we know it because there's a percent next to it. The base, we know it because it's the whole. It's the entire number. And the part, it's a piece of the whole. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. It's a piece of the whole. So now, I'm going to cover up these formulas. So if we have the rate and the base, we're always doing what? Uh, the part. We're multiplying. So what are we going to multiply? Somebody tell me. 28% uh, times 105. Okay. Spell it out for me. What do I write? Uh, if you do a point decimal and break it into a decimal. Uh-huh. Okay. So what would you have to do first? What would you have to do? Okay. You, you just put it to 0.28. Uh-huh. Okay. And what do I write next? Times? Times. 1,050. 1,050. So Mabel did something very good and that's easy to miss. 28%. A percent is not a number. So you have to take that percent and convert it to a decimal. You do that by dropping the percent sign and moving the decimal two spaces to the left. So 28% gets converted to a decimal and becomes 0.28. Thank you, Mabel. 0.28 times 1,050. So you 0.28. Times 1,050 equals 294. And that's our part. And that's our part. See how that works? Rate, base, and part. The three parts are there. That's all you do? That's it? That's all you do. 